if nitish kumar joins the nda does this mean the end of the india alliance that's my question so on this question i want to walk across and give you the results because remember it really comes down to this mamta banerji says i'll fight alone akhilesh yadav is given 11 seats take it or leave it so if nitish joins the nda is it the end of the india alliance 32% of overall voters say yes game over that's 3 in 10 are convinced that's the end of the india alliance 4 in 10 say no it's not the end 42% saying no it's not the end 26% are confused that's one in four confused with very good reason because you can't quite be sure but let's leave the nda voters aside leave this aside because obviously the nda voters want the, the india alliance end let's see what the opposition voters those who are likely to vote for the opposition parties what do they feel in bihar 28% of opposition voters say game over for the india alliance 47% say no game is not over one fourth again don't know can't say uh, yashwant how would you read this data 47% say no game is not over so at least half your opposition voters think that the game is still on the other way to look at it is that half either don't know or they think it's game over so it's bad news for the india alliance no matter which way you try and split this data well rather that half of it is the absolute absolute core vote you know of rjd which would never never surrender come what may uh, you know and one fourth is basically that jdu voter inside the mahagathbandhan which would be saying that okay it's game over for them and let's uh, make a new game somewhere or else in that way however rahul there is one key number everybody keeps on talking about 16% vote share of jdu as the core uh, you know which used to make sense because the two blocks that is the rjd congress block around 35% and the bjp and plus uh, 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 pass one block as around 35% each and 16% of nitish kumar making this way or that way however my personal assessment is which uh, which uh, manisha can actually explain it and this is purely number manisha but you can explain why i am feeling like that i feel that there is no more 16% it's hardly about 6% left over the last 10 uh, 5 10 years particularly i think that 16% which he polled in for 2014 contesting all alone uh, 10% of that block is gone Uh, a part of the upper caste and the obc from that side have gone to the bjp part of the minorities and ebcs have gone to the uh, lalu yadav side and he is now left with 6 7 odd percent of his core constituency if i may say so however even that 6 or 7 percent of this core constituency is the make or break constituency because if you are looking at you know 45 40 kind of a split before this all this happened you just take that 6 7% away it looks like only 6 7% from one alliance to the other but rahul practically 6% switch means 12% swing you know a gap of 12% gap that gets over and 12% in bihar Huge. I mean, it's actually. Okay, Manisha okay. Priyam, respond to Yashwant's theory. I argued the same that 16% is what it feels uh, that Nitish Kumar's vote share is. But when you actually test it, and there's no way to know because he hasn't fought alone without the BJP or the RJD, that 16 would be lesser. Yashwant says it would be as less as six. No, I don't think it's been tested yet. and the important reason for this is not that they have not gone to elections there is a very important issue called combination politics now yeah. if you see the padma award list the bharat ratn to karpuri thakur comes along with dr cp thakur also having yeah. been given one of the highest civilian honors the padma bhushan remember he is the person who's fought with all the senas of uh, central bihar and uh, he's been accepted as a leader of the upper caste bumihars it also tells you that the caste census has not had the impact of dividing and polarizing the agra pichhadas as the pichhada or the mandalite uh, believers would have us believe now nitish kumar therefore is the main architect of the combination politics in bihar the bumihars strongly see him as their leader 
the rajputs don't distrust him now put him there as the leader he is very trusted and then you get the transfer votes of the ati pichhadas how can you trust very... someone who keeps doing these nadia kamanachi type of gymnastic somersaults so you are asking you are asking someone who i did disclose to you that the two men guests happen to be the two leaders that you see on both sides i will be a confused child but they will be my leaders and if the prime minister is going to announce karpuri thakur for bharat ratna it allows me and my bihari identity to speak about karpuri thakur on the most eminent uh, political news channel of this country which since 1987 remember vp singh was brought to power when a deal was brokered between karpuri thakur and vp singh now these are facts of history that never see the limelight and you cannot im- in- imagine the joy of me who as a samajwadi daughter of the land today believes that this honor to karpuri thakur has brought only tears in my eyes what he stood for you see some parts of it and the poor people of this country the poorest of the world will do their politics differently don't think of us as paltu ram don't think of us as anything like that the coolies of the world will do their politics differently our leaders are important to us you may give them any sobriquet but the socialist leaders and the socialist ideology remains very integral to our very being given the high level of opportunism that's at play you're giving a you're attempting to give a moral halo to what is rank political opportunism ma'am so what is the political opportunism about this politics is about coming to the chair then you would rate karpuri is the opportunist i can give you many more stories but the fact is that politics is an opportunity there was a jp model that said that i will not take the chair but the karpuri model never said no to the political chair he became the chief minister even at the height in 77 with the support of the jansan and those of you who do not know when the mandal politics then in the mungeri lal commission format was announced then on my veranda kalashpati mishra and karpuri broke ranks and the third person brokering between them was krishori prasanna singh of the cpi now who would ever know that the cpi had supported implicitly a government of the jansang that nanaji deshmukh and karpuri had sat together to launch newspapers because indira gandhi was banning the press then so leave us with our complications and understand us as being very moral coolies let our politics unite us and thank you for allowing the opportunity to speak about political morality which is different from any other form of morality if the it's left the if the left and the sang parivar are doing political yes. parlays then sab mile hue hain ji okay <laughs> ashutosh uh, is it the end of the india alliance that's the question half the respondents seem to think that it is even within uh, amongst the overall 32.2% saying yes 42% saying no what's your sense can they take these kind of blows mamta first uh nitish next maybe akhilesh after this who knows i think uh, it's a it's a big setback there is no doubt about it but india gathbandhan is a two two dimension one it's a great setback in in bihar but still minus jdu it's a formidable alliance i will still say formidable alliance if you go by uh, assembly election data that is 37 38% vote share in bangal uh I I I think that the the matter will be No no but Ashutosh out. Ashutosh that assembly election happened just after covid when the government was largely absent and therefore you saw lack of governance now ram mandir has happened the victory in the heartland has happened nitish is so all that can be working in the favor of modi and the bjp and the nda those are all the tailwinds they carry to the hustings with them No I think I think I think uh, uh, Rahul it's a it's a uh, it's it has busted the myth that if the two of the three are together they'll sweep the sweep the elections this did yeah. not happen in 2020 assembly elections and yeah. imagine the two most formidable leaders narendra modi and nitish kumar were together and on the other side was not lalu yadav but tejasvi a upstart politician and if he could give a tough fight to these two leaders and get and can scare them they almost formed the government so i will not say that the, that the india alliance is dead in bihar that's a, that's something else but yes it's a great setback there is no doubt about it but in bengal my sense is that the, finally mamta banerjee and the congress will come on the same page and uh, adhir ranjan of the world will be asked to shut his mouth 
and he will do that as a as a as a as a, as a politics of optics nitish deserting has really uh, damaged the uh, uh, damaged the india gathbandhan at the all india level there is no doubt about it but to call it dead i will not uh, buy that argument